Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Uh, we're carrying out a series called The Biblical Game of Thrones. We're looking at the kings of Israel and Judah. And we're seeing how there was very human uh, conspiring and uh, politicking going on behind the scenes. And yet God still brought his purposes to pass. And today we're looking at two more kings of the northern kingdom of Israel. That's Ella and Zimri. Now, Ella was the fourth king of Israel. He came along after his father, Basha, had reigned for 23 years. But you know what? Basha had had a prophecy brought to him by a prophet saying that the same judgment that Basha had implemented against Jeroboam's uh, household by destroying everybody in it, that same judgment would now come upon Basha's household because of his sinfulness and his rejection of the Lord and because he led the people into idolatry. And in fact, the words are just so similar. In 1 Kings 16, Jehu brought to uh, Basha a prophecy that was almost the same as the one that had been pronounced over Jeroboam's household, that uh, his, him and his descendants would not even be buried because if they died in the city, the dogs would eat their corpses. If they died out in the country, then the birds would eat their corpses. And whenever Basha died, his son Ella took over. And Ella only reigned for one year before that prophecy was fulfilled. He, there's nothing impressive to record about him. All we're told about is how he died, that he was in Terza, where his capital city was, and he was getting drunk with one of his pals whenever Zimri, his commander of chariots, assassinated him. And then that same day wiped out his entire family. And so that's all we know about this king is that he only reigned for a year and he was assassinated uh, when he was on a drinking binge, which is hardly an impressive history. But then Zimri that took his place, Zimri reigned for even less. Zimri actually only reigned for seven days as king. Because as soon as the army heard what had happened, they immediately elected their general, Omri, to be king instead. And Omri straight away marched with the army to Terza, uh, where, where, where Zimri was, was hiding out. And they laid siege to, to, ter, to Terza and uh, laid siege against Zimri, commanding him to come out. And uh, he, was, he was terrified. He knew he didn't stand a chance. So he retreated into his palace and he burned his palace down with him in it. And so committed suicide and thus ended the seven day reign of Zimri. So both Ella and Zimri ended up uh, having meaningless, meaningless reigns. Short reigns, unimpressive reigns, undistinguished by any favour of God whatsoever. And yet they were used by God to execute judgment. Basha had been used to execute judgment against Jeroboam's household. And then uh, Zimri was used to execute judgment against Ella and, and Basha's household. And, and yet, just because God used somebody to bring his purposes to pass doesn't mean that they were a good person. You know, sometimes God uses bad people. Sometimes God allows things to happen in such a way that he will even allow the actions of bad people to bring about something that glorifies the name of God, that brings his judgments to pass, that opens the door up for new proclamations of the gospel or whatever. And so we need to be very careful because God can use anybody but just because God uses somebody and just we believe God has used them for a purpose doesn't mean that we should support them. It doesn't mean that we should be their follower or their fan, because when we when we see clearly, we see that both Basha and Zimri were used by God to bring a purpose to pass and yet nevertheless ended up uh, in destruction themselves. And so our purpose should not just be that God would use us, because God can even use the wicked people, but God would use us in a way that our lives will glorify him. That we will not just, just be people who happen to stumble into a situation by our sin that somehow glorifies God, but that we might seek God's face and be used by him 
to his glory through his goodness operating through our lives. And if we can learn that from this biblical Game of Thrones, then perhaps the examples of Basha and Ella and Zimri really will count for something after all. May God bless you. Have a great day today and join us next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.